Yo, what's good YouTube man, it's your boy YT Strong Gamer, I'm back with another video Now, do not click off this video, I know we're in 2K19 This is just going to be an informational video to explain some topics that I keep getting in my Twitter DMs And like when people meet up with me on the game So this is it going to explain why clothing and stuff like that don't transfer in uh, NBA 2K20 so we're going to start off in 2K19 and then we're going to go to 2K20, alright? So as you guys could see off the rip, I loaded up with a mascot, alright? As you guys could see off the rip, I loaded up with a mascot. Of course, I'm not a 98 or 97 or whatever overall you um, have to be to get a mascot. As you guys can see off the rip, um, I have a mascot, alright? So as you guys can see, I had the um, bike and the little skateboard. You know, nothing too crazy. Just showing you guys the animations and all that stuff. So y'all remember 2K19, everything could have transferred. Alright, everything could have transferred. Everything transferred. As you guys can see, I'm a 91 overall with a mascot. And I know at 91 overall is when you, you're you able to um take off your t-shirt, alright? So, so watch this. As you guys can see, under the mascot, I have like this bone collector t-shirt from Halloween and some black shorts and as you guys can see I do not have this bone collector skeleton type t-shirt if you look at all the t-shirts I don't have this t-shirt whatsoever so it transferred from let's just say one of my friends and I transferred onto my account so as you guys can see if I take it off I won't be able to equip it ever again unless I like redo the save over it same goes for the pants as you guys can see it's a all black NBA short shorts and I do not have all black NBA short shorts. These are all the short shorts that I have right here. All right. So now I'm gonna change my fit right here to show you why in 2K19, uh, clothing, uh, could have transferred and not in 2K20. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna put on all yellow. All right. I'm gonna put on Lakers hoodie, Lakers long pants, and some some shoes some yellow shoes that I have nothing about and as you guys can see I still have the mascot but if I go back into the the clothing thing I will still have the um, the Lakers gear on it's just under my uh, it's just under the mascot right so the reason why clothing and stuff could have transferred in 2k19 is because in 2k20 park wrap and clothing transferred to all players okay in 2K19, as you guys can see, I'm a 91 overall on this build right here. And and I'm about to load up my pure stretch, which is a 93. So each player had a different save, if that makes sense, all right? So there's two saves for NBA 2K in general. There's a online save and there's a user's, user save, okay? So watch this. So for example... If you had a friend that was a 99 overall, all right, and he went and make a new player, it automatically made him a 60 overall. But if you go into 2K20 and he's a 99 overall, all right, and he makes a new player, he's still going to be a 60 overall, but he's still going to be a legend. You know what I mean? Like, say your friend in 2K, uh, 2K20 is a legend and he makes a new player, he's still going to be a legend, all right. So, um, User saves means like, all right, for example, as you guys can see right here, I'm loading up my pure stretch. So I'm a 93. Remember, I was a 91. So whatever I do on my pure stretch, it's going to save to my pure stretch. So it's saving in the user data. It's not going to save to the online storage or on 2K service. It's not going to save to the 2K server. It's going to save on my PS4, but not on 2K servers, okay? So as you guys can see, I have no mascot. Just, just, just a regular pure stretch nothing too fancy this is my og pure stretch that i've been grinding with in 2k uh, 19 so as you guys can see remember i had a lakers clothing but right here i have um my uh what you call it just regular clothing i have a black tee and some cargos all right so right here i'm going to show you guys as you guys can see remember you guys could even go back i had lakers gear on before i switched players all right so Clothing in 2K19, of course, does not transfer. It, even if I try to look for the hoodie, I don't have the hoodie. As you guys can see, I even have way more t-shirts compared to my uh, 91 overall, as you guys can see. So I have way more jerseys, and I have way more short shorts, all right? So as you guys can see, 
I don't have that Laker uh, hoodie nowhere. All right, it's nowhere to be found. And then as you guys can see, I don't have the all black or the Lakers um, long shorts. I have the Lakers white shorts, but not the all yellow ones. I have the the short shorts, but remember they were the long ones. All right. So so all this right here saved to my peer shot. So this is saving to my user data. You know. All right. So if you guys ever dealt with Save Wizard, you know when you transfer files and it says user data, that's what I mean. All right. So you have a user data um thing. Okay. So now we're going to go into 2K20, all right? So everything transferred in 2K19, but only certain stuff transfers in 2K20, all right? So we're about to jump into 2K20 right now after I show my badges and show you guys I'm a 93 overall. So boom. As you guys can see right now, we're on the greatest game. Low-key, 2K20 is a good game, honestly. But as you guys can see, I have the Gold Rush shorts, the gold rush um, arm sleeves and I have the gold rush leg sleeves I have the arm sleeves on but they obviously they're covered by the boot camp um, hoodie so and you notice the boot camp hoodie if they have the like the black ink on the back of it alright so as you guys can see I have events on this so this is right here is my 97 um, pure inside okay this is my pure inside this is what I use if I'm trying to play rec or like events. You know what I mean? If they if you need a pure inside, just hit me up. And as you guys can see, I have unlimited boost. So as you guys can see, boost in 2K19, other than the gym rat, I mean 2K20, other than the gym rat transfer. So boost does not transfer, okay? Unlimited boost cannot transfer. Gym rat is the only thing that's able to transfer because it's being saved to the user data, okay? And it trans and once you get gym rat on one player is going to i think it goes to all players or if not just that only one player okay so as you guys can see i have the leg sleeves and arm sleeves for everything as you guys can see i only want 20 events i only want boot camp because it was the easiest event to win to get a limited boost because you're legit playing getting 75 overalls and also i got top three 50 times i know mean, i got i placed top 53 times in gold rush okay right here i'm going to show you um my events won for some reason it didn't show boot camp and it didn't show the last uh, gold rush that I won but as you guys can see I placed top 50 twice in gold rush and then I don't know where my boot camp and all that stuff is but it is what it is all right so Pete as you guys can see clothing is going to transfer so I'm going to switch bills right here it's going to do a quick skip so I'm on my center just look at his height look at his everything Look at his face scan. Now look, I'm on my pure stretch. On my level 3 score, alright? As you guys can see, the clothing automatically transferred, alright? Clothing automatically transferred. So, that's the only reason why clothing cannot transfer in 2K20 is because it saves to the online storage of 2K. So, there's no way how to contact 2K to get your online saves brought to you, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. Hopefully, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So, in 2K19, every player you made had his own save. That's why everything could have transferred. But in 2K19, in 2K20, everything is able to be saved. Everything is shared, okay, if that makes sense. Everything is sh shared. The only thing that's able to transfer in this game is the hoverboard, trike, and all that stuff that you could equip. So, like, the DJ booth, the tandem, the hoverboard, the trike. What else? What else? Um, I don't know what other things you could equip and animations of course animations tendencies all those transfer which is pretty good a lot of people are hitting me up on twitter to ask them to um put the 100 percent tendency the 100 tendencies on their players so if you don't know what 100 tendencies are right so for example say if you guys make a a bp build everybody should know what a bp build is right or let's put it like this say you make a shooting inside a shooting glass cleaner right and this and you get a pure stretch you get a pure stretch um file all right you know off the rip a pure stretch gonna have like 30 shooting badges it's gonna have a 95 um shooting so its tendencies to hit a three point shot is gonna be 100 percent all right now if i put that on my inside glass i'm, I'm gonna be shooting the same I, i'm gonna be shooting the same rate as a pure stretch i mean a pure yeah pure stretch because 
they're able to hit down the shot. So my my stretch is going to turn into a demigod. And for ex and then let's put it like this. Say if I want to put 100% shooting and 100% slashing or driving dunks. So it's automatically going to be a slasher. It's going to so it's going to be a pure stretch inside slashing glass clean and lockdown. You know what I mean? So boom. As you guys can see, I'm able to switch my clothing and still be able to put on my gold rush shorts. It's because all the events is going to be saved. Every event that you win is going to be automatically saved to the 2K cloud. So you, so like if you hit up 2K support, they're gonna be like, oh, you won this event, so they'll be able to give you your rewards. You know what I mean? So just in case anything happens, um, they're gonna give you your um, what you call it, your events off the rip. So yeah, so basically, I maybe this video is pointless, but. All I basically want to say is, there's two saves for 2K, all right? There's a user data and online data, all right? And as you guys can see, unlimited boost transfers, okay? So once you win unlimited boost on any build, it transfers to all your builds. Even if you make a brand new build, um, it transfers to all your builds, and e including hot zones. Hot zones transfers, animations, the tandem, trike, all that transfers. Um, What else transfers? The hot zones, I just said that. Uh, tendencies I'm about to show you guys right here so peep the tendencies are the blue and like what you're able and, and like what is your actual like overall is the red so as you guys can see the blue is all the way filled to the top my my potential is filled all the way up to the top my mid range is filled all the way up to the top um I think my post score is filled all the way up to the top also and post fade you know what I mean so this is a pretty good build right here stamina is filled all the way up to the top so yeah, hopefully, hopefully this video made sense. I know I stuttered and like um, struggled on what I was supposed to say. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy, and I'm out.